Hey guys, uh, it's Alpine Element. I'm offering another another Land Rover Defender. I hope everyone is staying safe in, in these difficult times with this virus going around. But on a more positive note, let's go ahead and dive into this Defender. So, this is a 1993 Land Rover Defender which I had imported. Uh, unlike my previous Defenders I've offered for sale on um, Bring a Trailer, this Defender was restored a number of years before I took ownership of it. Although it's, it looks very nice. Uh, when I drive it around, I always get compliments on it. I always have people that stop and ask about the truck. Um, but I didn't build it necessarily to, to my taste or, or to my own passion. So, start off from the beginning of the truck. You have the, uh, the skid plate, which it does have a little bit of wear and tear, although nothing serious at all. And then you have the off-road extreme tires. Uh, they're Silverstone extremes, I believe. Uh, they do produce a little bit of road noise, but, but nothing. Aside from that, in the, in the front we have the KBX grill with, with LED lights. Uh, the hood was replaced, I want to say it was a couple of years ago, the hood was replaced and then at the same time the doors were replaced all around the Defender as well and it was all painted. Uh, a couple of years ago, like I said, the, the paint, the, the car was basically resprayed in the factory color which, which you can see it's, it's just a respray of see it from that angle but there is actually a winch right underneath the bumper it's a little bit difficult to see um, it sits right along the skid plate so you also have a remote for that you just take the winch and you have to pull yourself out of a difficult situation which you may not really need the winch because these tires will get you out of anything but in the event that you do you do need to use the winch you can just take the, the winch hook it up and, and pull yourself out so and then moving on from there the paint is in pretty good condition which is expected because it was sprayed not that long ago. You have the fender flares and then you have the aftermarket the aftermarket off-road lights and you also have a roof rack as well. So going over to the interior of the truck. So like I had mentioned earlier the doors were replaced a number of years ago so it's fairly re recently redone um, and then you also have the aftermarket seats. One thing I personally don't like too much with with Defenders is the placement of the stock seats. It kind of puts you at a little bit of a of an awkward angle when you're driving. These seats are a lot more adjustable. They're a lot more comfortable, and they also fit around the body a lot more a lot more comfortably as opposed to the stock seats. So aside from that, one noticeable thing that's a pretty big part of this Defender is it has an aftermarket cluster, like an aftermarket Puma dash. Um, this was also done before I took ownership of it, so the entire dashboard was redone, the vents were relocated, and it also has aftermarket heat. There is a switch on the center console that you press right next to the, right next to the switches for, for the off-road lights. When you switch it, it blows hot air in, into the cab. Um, the engine, it wasn't rebuilt, so the factory original engine inside of, of the truck. Uh, the carburetor, although it was recently rebuilt, I want to say not that long. I had to rebuild before I had imported it here, so there's no issues with the carburetor. You can start it up. I'll demonstrate that. I'll demonstrate that shortly. We'll do a cold start video for you guys, just so you can see how how it idles on on cold start. Then once it's warmed up, we'll we'll go for a test ride. So moving over into the back back side of of the Defender, the back was also redone with with black leather to match the front seats. It has red stitching all around all around the truck. Doors are also all space as well, and then you have the window guards for off-roading. These are easily taken off. You just you just unscrew these right here, and you take that screw out right there, and then this just pops right out. Moving over to the back, we have a ladder which is mounted onto the roof rack as well. If you like to go camping, which this Defender will be perfect to go camping with, you can set up your tent and you can climb right on top. Uh, I do have this the spare tire cover back I kind of like it I like how it looks better without the cover on there but I have the cover as well that's just inside of the truck on some photos you guys can see what the cover looks like in the ad there's a I have some photos with with the spare tire cover on on the truck as well there's also guards for the rear lights as well um, and moving back to the right side of the truck 
It's the same ordeal as well. We have the window guards on this side, and the truck also does have a side step, side steps to get in and out easier. There's no visible rust on the truck anywhere at all. And I mentioned earlier, the doors are fairly new. The interior is new. The frame is rust-free. I did have an electric fuel pump installed onto the vehicle as well, just to make it easier with the cold starts and starting and, and drivability. Um, makes it a lot easier to start in the cold time. In New Jersey, it gets very, very cold. So sometimes it's not perfect to start a car when it's really cold. So the electric fuel pump, it does help with that a little bit. Um, moving over to the passenger side of the front of the car. Matching seats. This is all part of the Puma Dash. So you have the vents right here. There is also an analog clock right in the center as well. The truck also does have Bluetooth audio, which I had, which I had mentioned earlier. So you can connect your phone to it and play whatever it is that you'd like to play to the speakers around, around the truck as well. So you have your backup camera, you have Bluetooth, you have power locks, power windows. Um, and then, so as far as the exterior goes, that's it.